right, people. Welcome to another episode. This week, we have an old friend joining us. Mary Ellen's back. Oh, free. You look... You haven't aged a bit. Neither have you. <laughs> Thank you. Aren't you sweet? So, Mary Ellen, do you know any Hungarian? I know a Hungarian, but I don't know <laughs> Hungarian. Okay. Well, that's not going to help us today. His name was Rolf. Rolf? Yes. That's quite a name. Well, that's not going to help us today because we're making Hungarian goulash. <gasps> Food. You know, I came with an appetite and oh, a surprise. Good. Well, we're going to have some fun. Good. Now, you know, this recipe is very simple to make. And uh, we're going to start right now. So, now our first step is to put the oil in our skillet. And we're going to use the oil to brown our beef. Right. So goulash is made with beef. Yes, that's tradition. I imagine you could make it with uh, some other uh, meat product of some kind, but we're going to make it with beef. I notice your beef has lots of veins. Yes, and that's a good thing. It's, uh, it's, it's highly veined beef. And you don't want it to be too... Um, highly veined beef. <laughs> you don't want it to be too fatty. But, but the veins uh, do add a little taste, don't they? No, they do, yes. And they and they uh, help tenderize the meat when you cook it. Now, what I've oh. done... Uh, that's right. Already? Right. Mm-hmm. Now, what I've done is I've coated this beef with flour. Mm hmm And that helps give the, the gravy just a little bit of stability. Mm -hmm. mm. She's browning the beef. That's right. The veined beef. That's right. So, Mary Ellen, what have you been up to? Oh, well, tell our fans. I've, I've just been enjoying life. I've moved uh, to the suburbs. Did you know that? I did know that. Yes, I moved to Connecticut. I, I've missed having you next door. Oh, I know, and I've missed being here, too. But Connecticut is so much more... It's like having a whole state of breeze. <laughs> All of my neighbors are just like you. Oh, that's very nice. All right, now. Yes. Yeah. Once we've browned up our beef, it could be a little browner than this, but we can move ahead. It'll all happen in due time. <laughs> We're going to add our onions. You mean you add the onions after, mm -hmm. not before? Not before. Oh, that's interesting. Yes, okay. So, there we go. Oh, boy. Now we're going to cook this for about five minutes with the onions until okay. they get nice and soft. Mm, it's starting to smell good, isn't it? Oh, it, since the beginning you started to put it on, it was wonderful. Mm -hmm. ah, what have you been doing, Greeny? I mean, I know you're getting all around. You're, you're just so famous and mm -hmm. popular. Well, we're doing lots of things, darling. One of the most exciting things is that we have a new product line. Yes. Well, it's Felix Populi. You know, Felix Populi means happy people in Latin, no, roughly. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. That's what the name's all about. So you dry your dishes with happy people. <laughs> That's right, yes. I just tell. Oh, how pretty. Green. What a nice color. Isn't that fun? Really lovely. All right. So now once we've done that, our next step is to add our spices. And we're using... <gasps> What's that? That's a tablespoon of paprika. Oh. Now, you know, when they, uh, when they cook in Hungary, they love their paprika. So much is I done have a with paprika in Hungary. Yes, darling. If the Hungarians eat this, what do the Romanians eat? And the Bulgarians? I don't know. We'd have to ask them. Maybe we could do a show on Bulgarian food. Bulgarian food, okay. Maybe Bulgarians eat Bulgar wheat. Salt they and have pepper. No salt and pepper. And you had that pre-mix. Yes. That's something you can have the children do ahead of time to keep them occupied and away from drugs. I suppose. All right. So, our last ingredient is a cup and a half of beef stock. Beef stock? Mm. Yes. Actually, that's not our last ingredient. The Just last ingredient that. is always love. <laughs> We're also using... Oh my, it's an enormous bay leaf. We're using a bay leaf. And two whole so. cloves. There we go. We have to make sure we don't eat those, though. That's not a good thing. No. When do you put the cheese in? Oh, there's no cheese in this particular recipe. 
No cheese? No cheese. No cheese in no a brini cheese. recipe? No cheese. My, you've advanced. <laughs> well, I don't know about advancing. It's just... I'll bet you could put a little Velveeta in it if yeah. you really wanted to. I don't think that would be a good idea. All right. Now, we're going to cover this. And it's going to cook for two to uh, two and a quarter hours to get all nice and soft and delicious and edible. That'll give us just enough time to go down and see the Korean girls and get a pedicure. <laughs> yes, that would be a good thing to do with the time, wouldn't it? Yes. So we'll be right back with the results. Stay with us. And here it is. I know, how exciting. Doesn't it look good? It looks wonderful. Now, we made an advanced batch, so this is, uh, the other one's still cooking back there, but this is, uh, this is what it looks like when you're done. Now, this is cooked for about two and a half, two, two to two and a half hours. And so, I'll give you a taste. Am I allowed to have some? You are. I mean, the last time I was here, you wouldn't let me eat it because it was for the guests. Well, that was the first time that we cooked, but then we were having a party. We're not having a party today. We're having our own party. That's right. Be careful, it's hot. Mmm. It's good, isn't it? Mmm. It's so good. I don't need to put ketchup on it. Oh, good, I'm glad. That's a good sign with you. Excellent. Because you put ketchup on everything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Even ice cream. <laughs> I've never gone that far, Brini. <laughs> oh, you're such... I wonder. <laughs> Hungarian goulash. It's just delicious. Yeah, sure. So, if you like the recipe, come by BriniMaxwell.com and uh, drop me a line while you're there. Tell me what you think of it. We'll see you next week. Bye now. Bye. The spirit is moving. The spirit is moving. Traveling along. Traveling along. The spirit is going and you know it never goes wrong. Hold on to the spirit. Playing till it's fixed. like goulash for breakfast. <laughs> I'm sitting here eating it thinking, this is weird, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> All right. It is very good though. Yeah, it came out well, didn't it? Did you make it or did you order out? No, I made it. Oh. <laughs> of course I made it. We just made it here. <laughs> so girl. <laughs>